This is CBS 4 News at 11. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for CBS 4 News at 11. I'm Thomas Forster. Yeah, Jim and Liz, still no word this hour on the condition of that victim who was rescued. And as you mentioned, it happened just before 6 o'clock this morning at the Palo Verde Apartments, a two-story complex along the 6,000 block of Forest Hill Boulevard. Well, right now, the Federal Aviation Administration says they will soon host a meeting with airlines here in Florida to address flight delays throughout the state. CBS 4's Giselle Thomas joins us now with why officials describe the current airspace as congested. Now, when asked yesterday during a news conference in Fort Myers, the governor did say it's way too early to decide which way he thinks that the Supreme Court will go. But he did say he favors overturning Roe versus Wade. Chief Justice John Roberts calls the leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion, quote, absolutely appalling. Now, the draft suggested the court could be poised to overturn Roe v. Wade. CNN is reporting tonight that Roberts spoke at a meeting of lawyers and judges in Atlanta earlier today, where he allegedly said, those behind the leak are foolish if they think it will affect the Supreme Court's work. Roberts has already ordered an investigation into the leak. The draft opinion has sparked protests nationwide. Now a final opinion is expected to be handed down by early July. Airbnb says it's cracking down on people who rent homes to hold big parties. Now this comes after two teens were killed last month at an Airbnb in Pittsburgh where many of the guests were minors. He certainly did, Liz. In fact, he had some very harsh words to be exact. Now speaking at a news conference in Fort Myers this afternoon, the governor called the Supreme Court leak a judicial insurrection. Well, the month of May is Motorcycle and Bicycle Safety Awareness Month, and Florida Highway Patrol is asking you to be aware and share the road. Now, FHP's annual Share the Road campaign informs drivers on how to safely drive alongside large commercial vehicles. Now, according to FHP, just last year statewide, there were over 8,000 motorcycle crashes with more than 500 resulting in a death. FHP says, with so many different ways of people using the roads, it's important to be aware of who is driving next to you. Well, thanks for joining us tonight for CBS 4 News at 11. For Zach and all of us here at CBS 4 News, I'm Thomas Forster. Good night, everyone. Be safe and stay healthy, my friends.